Hello and welcome to the Red Men TV. It's player ratings time. Uh, I'm going to start with the goalkeeper for a change, uh, Luis Carius. I'm going to give a six out of ten. No, seven out of ten to be honest with you. I don't know. You can't do nothing about the goal from where I was sat, which was absolutely fucking miles away from it. In fairness, uh, but he does he does stop Shane Long a couple of times early on in the game. So you know what? And his distribution was all right. So there you go. Seven out of ten. Sent Alexander Arnold. I'm gonna go five out of ten to be honest. No, six out of ten because there was a couple of balls that he whipped in that were pretty good. But he did kick a couple of. Um, Crossfield passes and stuff that went a little bit wayward. I, I think he struggled. He certainly struggled first 25 minutes against Redmond. I thought Redmond had him in his pocket, to be perfectly honest with you. Centre back, Joel Matip, I'm going to give him a 5 out of 10. I thought he was rusty as hell. Um, Dejan Love, I'm going to give him a 5 out of 10 as well. I think those two in space just weren't very good tonight. And, you know, they counter attacked on us. Um, ugh. Fuck. James Milner, 4 out of 10. I thought he was dog turned. He looked dizzy to me for the first 15 minutes. He had no fucking idea where he was or where he was supposed to be. Um, he's asking me to watch me back, but it's really my face. Um, Jordan Anderson, 5 out of 10. Don't think he really affected the game in any way, shape, or form. Don't think we moved the, game, the ball quickly enough out of midfield and tried to transition. You know, we gave them time. There was times when they were counter attacking and they had time to get back into that 6 3 1 formation that worked so well. Emery Chan, I thought, was what, for want of a better word, wank again. Um, I'm going to give him a 5 out of 10. Uh, Adam Lallana, I give a 6 out of 10, right, oh, fucking hell, Roberto Firmino, 6 out of 10, there was flashes from Roberto Firmino, and he looked a little bit better when he went a little bit central, to be honest with you, and started picking up the 10 position, uh, I think we went to a bit more of him in the 10, and Sturridge and Origi up top towards the end of the game, and I thought he, he looked a little bit brighter, and a little bit sharper, and then, you know, we had that one move on the left-hand side, which I kind of forgotten about, and sort of started talking then, where, I think it was Henderson, Coutinho, Lallana, just an incredible move that Sturridge couldn't finish off, and, when we played that one touch pass and we looked good, we played it once in two games against them. Um, Phil Coutinho, fuck, uh, five out of ten for him. Daniel Sturridge, you know what, there's been loads of people slating Daniel Sturridge today and it's not his pro problem that he's got no legs anymore. I thought he worked fairly hard for the team first half. Um, thought he tracked back well. I was a little bit annoyed that he had to track back, to be perfectly honest with you. I think overall I gave him a six. Divock Origi didn't understand it, don't understand him in the last few weeks. Five out of ten. Genie Wijnaldum, nah, I'm not giving him a rating anyway. If you agree, disagree, let me know in the play ratings. If you're just here to troll, enjoy yourself. Liverpool will be back, will be better than ever. And then I'll come back, find you, hunt, that, hunt you down and kill you.